All right, this is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 11, and we're going to be representing subtraction, and sometimes we're going to have to, uh, in the tra traditional way, we'd call it borrow. Now we're going to call it decomposition. We're going to use some decomposition. Um, so we're going to be subtracting. Sometimes it's going to require some borrowing, but we're going to use manipulatives. So we're not really going to be using the standard algorithm quite yet. We're doing some uh, groundwork here, some foundational work to teach students the meaning of the stuff uh, before we get to the algorithm. And so it says solve using your place value chart and number disks. Okay, so what we want teachers to do is we want them to be handing out um, those tens, little disks, and the disks would, some of them might have tens on it, and you can do this with paper. Just cut up a bunch of, or uh, print up some papers using, uh, with marking with t uh, tens on them, and then a bunch of them with ones, all right? And we're going to use these uh, little p uh, disks, number disks, to represent uh, numbers. For example, so we're going to take 36, and we're going to model 36. And so what 36 is going to look like is they're going to have a place value chart, and the first thing they're going to do is model three tens in the tens column and six ones in the ones column. So there we have modeled 36. And then, when students are being asked to solve this problem, subtract 5, uh, they're literally going to just remove 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from their table. Uh, I am going to cross them off using a red ink uh, to show that I've subtracted 5, or I've taken away 5, and I can see that the answer, 36 minus 5, is 31, because I have 3 here, I have 1 here, so the answer is 31. Similarly, if we're going to model 36 minus 7 right here, 36 minus 7, again, we're going to use that same place value chart, and it's going to be 10s and 1s, and, and I'll change my color so we don't get confused. And to model 36, I'm going to model 1, 2, 3 10s in the 10s column. And I'm going to model 6 in the 1's column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there I've modeled 36. Now here's the key thing, though, is we need to take away 7. Well, we only have 6. So what we need to do is we need to take one of these 10's and we need to cash it in. So I'm going to cash this 10 for... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 ones. So I'm cashing in the 10 for 10 ones. And now I can subtract 7. So I'm going to use my pen and I'm going to cross off 7. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and one more is 7. So I just crossed off my 37, so I have minus 37. So the kids would actually take these off of their table because they're actually using chips or paper <laughs> representing the chips like this. And so once I've crossed off 7, I can see that I have two tens, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have 9 left over. Uh, nine ones, so my answer is two tens and nine ones, so the answer is 29. So let's practice that on a couple more, a uh, couple more problems, and so 60 minus 26 right here, so we're going to start with our place value chart, and here's our tens and our ones, and the kids are going to use those chips. They're not going to be drawing dots, but uh, I'm going to draw dots because that's what I've got. So I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here is my model for 60. I've got 6 chips in the tens column and nothing in the ones column because that's what this one, 0 right here says in the ones column. Now it says I'm supposed to take away 26. Well, to take away the 6 
or the 2. Well, first off, let's take away the 20. So we could take away the 20. That's really easy. Cross off one, cross off another. So I've just taken away the 20. But now I have to take away the 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these 10s, and I'm going to cash it in for 10 ones. So this 10 becomes 10 ones, and now I can take off 6. I can cross off 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so I can see the remaining answer. I've got three tens, so that's going to be 30. And I've got four ones, so that's 34. So we have 34 left over. Uh, if we're going to do this, let's do the next one. So once again, I'm, I've got my tens and my ones chart, and I'm going to model 62. So we're going to model 62 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the tens column. So there's my 60 and 2. There's my 62. Now it says to take away 26. So how are we going to take away 26? In any order, we could take away the two tens first, or we could take away the six ones first. It really doesn't matter. Let's take away the two tens first, because that's pretty straightforward. That's pretty easy. We're going to take off two tens. One, two. I just took off two tens. Now it says we have to take off six ones. But we don't have enough six ones to take away or to cross off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these tens, and I'm going to cash it in. And what am I going to cash it in for? I'm going to cash it in for 10 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's my 10 ones. And this guy goes away because I cashed him in for 10 ones. Now I can cross off 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six. And so what is our answer? We have three tens, so that's 30. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six ones, so our answer is 36. And our last slide, I'm just going to go really quick because I don't really have to do the math. Uh, you, I think you get the idea of the math. The important thing is uh, these, these numbers tell us how many marbles are in each jar. And it says Miss Clark took 37 marbles out of each jar. So that means we have to model 45 minus 37, 52 minus 37, 48 minus 37, and 55 minus 37. And I'm not going to model how we do that because I think you get the idea. And that is grade 2, module 4, lesson 11, where we're using uh, place value disks, uh, place value charts and number disks to represent subtraction, some of which requires borrowing.